Hello, Juneberry. <laughs> She's come in to say hello. You like my gobble t-shirt? She does. Hi, it's Jenny O from I Love You More Than Gumbo, and I'm here with another Timu haul. And the first thing we're going to haul in this month of Thanksgiving is my t-shirt. Gobble! Time to gobble up that turkey this month. I'll have everything listed in the description box below. And I'll also have my code for a discount. If you're new to Timu, download the app using my link. And you can also use that discount code. Don't forget about that. You can get a percentage off and a bundle of coupons valued up to $100. I have got a pretty big bag today to unpack. Before I do that, I did have a package come in with my gobble t-shirt. I also got a Christmas t-shirt. Merry Christmas, y'all. That's what we say down south. And a couple of pairs of pants that I will be trying on for y'all. These are some like Ponte pants almost. Aren't they so cute? And then when I was looking for a pair of pants to replace the leather pants that are too big on me now, I found this look. It doesn't really look like leather, but it's a shiny legging. And I ordered them in the 3XL, which is the 18, which I think when I ordered them, they were on back order, and now I need the 2XL16. I did try them on. They fit very comfortably, um, but I could go down a size. So I'm going to keep the 18, and they were they were very inexpensive, so I'm not going to go through the whole rigmarole of sending them back and then ordering a new size. But they're comfortable enough that I know I'm going to go ahead and keep them, and then I'll order the 14 when I get down to that side. We're going to do try-ons for everything that I have. So those are the things I got in a package that came in the mail the other day. But what came in today is this big, big bag. So let's see what's in here. I know I've got some things from my dog, Juneberry. But let's look at this first little packet. I'm telling you, I say this in the last couple of videos, but I love the new packaging instead of those cheap plastic bags they were coming in they put everything in these zipper pouches and I've been using these for travel to pack some of my items in I'll put the outfit a whole outfit in, in each bag instead of using packing cubes now and it's just it's come in so handy and I'm leaving on a cruise in a couple of days and I'm I'm ready to go I'm so ready to go and my sparkly outfits I got from Timu it's going to keep all the sequins on so this, I think, is a romper that I ordered. I mean, I can't remember what I order from day to day. Well, it has a belt. <clears throat> Excuse me. I ordered this in 2XL16. I paid $11.69 for it. Isn't it cute? I mean, it looks kind of baggy, just hanging like this. But I'm going to go try it on right now with the little belt. Be right back. Okay, what I decided to try on first for y'all is the Merry Christmas Y'all t-shirt. It's in the 2XL, I'm sorry, yes, 2XL16. It's a little snugger than the gobble shirt, but it's comfortable. It just shows my curves a little better. And then these pants, um, the trousers with the pleats in the front are very comfortable. It's hard to see the bottoms with the dark bottom of my couch. So you, they're tapered pants, but they're very comfortable, very flattering with a pair of heels. They would, they would be mighty nice. So you can see how the ankle fits. Um, they're not a straight leg. They're not a boot cut. They are not exactly a skinny fit, but they are a tapered leg and they're quite comfortable. And I think with the right blouse, I think I have a blouse. I'll get to the romper in just a moment, but I think I have, yes, I have a, um, a blouse in here. I'll try this on real quick with the pants. Here's a blouse that I picked out. 
And I'll put this blouse on with the trousers so you get kind of an idea, not with the Merry Christmas, y'all. And then I'll try on the romper. I'll be right back. Okay, this is it styled with, these are the pants styled with this blouse. So you can see how tailored they are a little bit compared to some of the others. And then if I wanted to pull the blouse out and wear it as a tunic, sorry about the flesh, I could and maybe belt it with a belt. That would be kind of cute. Um, we'll use this as a makeshift belt. It's, of course, not what I would use. But if you wanted to belt it, you could. You see, I'd use a black belt or a cream colored belt. But you could, and that would give you a little misshape. But, um, yeah, this blouse is really nice. And tucked in, it's even better. Even better. I stopped to lose a little bit of weight here to make pants fit a little bit better. But nothing a pair of Spanx won't fix. That's becoming my motto. Yep. And I love this blouse. I think I paid... $9.96. Yes, $9.96. I got it in a size 2XL. I probably could have gone down to a 14 because it's a little, little loose. But overall, it's comfortable. Um, but I could have gone down a size. So it does run a little big. Now I'm going to try on those shiny, leathery looking pants for y'all to see with the Merry Christmas Y'all t-shirt because this isn't going to do the leathery pants any favors. And then I'll try on the romper. So you see how these are? They give that rock and roll leather look with the Merry Christmas Y'all t-shirt. Of course, my butterball womanly figure. But uh, I don't plan on wearing a tight t-shirt with these pants at all. Um, I've got other things to wear with it. But I wanted to give you all an idea of what the look of these leggings was and what I'm going for with it. I've got, you know, like a sequin tunic that I want to wear with it on the cruise. So, yeah, just that leather look. And I think they, they are exactly what I'm looking for for now to replace my leather pants Um, just for now. Yeah. So now let's get to that romper. Okay, y'all. Here's the romper. Don't judge. It's a 16 and it fits just fine. It's not tight anywhere. It's a little high waisted. I don't, I think that's how it's supposed to be. I looked at the picture. Yeah, I'm wearing it the way it's supposed to be. It's, I think because I'm so busty, this just keeps popping open. Luckily, I've got like a tank top style sports bra on, but I think I have to wear a tank top underneath it. Um, but it just keeps showing. So, yeah, I mean, it's comfortable. It's very comfortable. It's not like any of this is pulling, but there is none of it's coming down. It's as down as it's going to go. But I would definitely have to put some wig tape or something to hold this shut or put on a tank top because there's a lot of cleavage and a little bit of my bra is poking out. <laughs> I mean, overall, I like it, but I think I'm going to send it back just because it's not fitting quite right. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but it's not fitting quite right. I think this would just get on my last nerve. And having to put a tank top underneath it wouldn't be the end of the world, but I mean, I don't know. It doesn't have any pockets, which every woman knows is almost a deal breaker. But overall, outside of this and whatever, it's it's not bad. It's just, I don't know who has a waist this high. So moving on to the next item. Sorry if you hear my dog whimpering in the back. I had to put her in her crate because she was wild and out. Sorry, Juneberry. This is a dress that I thought was so cute on the website. So we're going to try it on, see how it looks. Clearly, I'm not having much cleavage. Be right back. Okay, so this dress is super comfortable. I think it's flattering. It's got a lot of static cling. I don't know if that comes off in the camera. 
But I really like this. And I've ordered it in a 16. Let me look and see how much I paid for it. I paid $9.49. And I believe I did get a Timu partial refund because the price went down. But it is very comfortable. Don't you think so, Juneberry? She just wants out of her crate. Um, again, I could put on some Spanx and reduce the hip pooch. And there is a lot of static cling. But for the price, this is such a cute little dress for a luncheon, for work. Just a cute dress. I love it. I love it. I love it. Definitely a winner. So let's go to the next one. Oh, yes, this is a fun dress that I saw in the catalog or on online catalog um, that I really wanted to try on. I wasn't sure how it would look on me. It's longer than I would normally choose. But isn't that cute? I normally don't look good in anything below the knee. And I think this is, yeah, it's definitely going to fall below my knee. <laughs> but we're going to try this on. And see if it's going to look good for my cruise that I'm leaving on in a few days. First impression. No. I look like I'm wearing a tent. It's not made for women with my bust because it stops. The, the ampere stops at my bust. So nothing comes in to give me any shape. If it, If the waist came in here, I would have some shape and it would look a lot better, right? But it doesn't. It stops on my boobs and I look like I'm having a baby. So no to this cute patterned dress. Okay, so let's get on to the next one. Okay, I remember this fabric pattern because I thought, again, for my cruise. Isn't this cute? But it, it looks like a moo moo in real life. <gasps> what did I do? Let's try it on. Absolutely not. This does look like a moo moo. It has no shape. It's just a rectangle. I love the, the pattern. Absolutely love the colors. But there's no. It's not like that blue and cream dress that kind of gave it a little bit of ba ba boom. This one literally just looks like a house coat. <sighs> Maybe I need to go down a size. It's just a size too big, perhaps. I don't know. Don't like it. Don't like it. Let's see what's next. Okay, this I know what exactly what it is. It's another romper. Oh, and I didn't tell you the price. Sorry. I got carried away. The green and pink dress, I paid $13.94. And this romper that I'm about to show you, I paid $10.79. And this Moo Moo looking dress, I paid... Eleven forty eight. Okay. This also comes in this is navy and cream and like a goldish khaki. It also comes in a gold and green and cream. And I almost got the green, but I was trying to stick to a blue theme. Um he has another romper. Looks really deep cut. We'll see. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Action. This one doesn't, the shape of my body shows too much because of these vertical lines. I didn't even bother zipping it up in the back, even though I know it's going to fit comfortably because it's very comfortable and I love the fringe at the bottom, but I got to thinking I needed my husband's help to zip it in the back. And then I thought, what if I have to go to the bathroom? Not only did I look in the mirror and go, ooh, you can really see my shape. That's a negative. But if I have to go to the bathroom, my husband's not there to zip me up. And what if I don't have a girlfriend with me to zip it? 
So that's a con for this outfit. As much as I love it, it's going back. This situation and the zipper in the back. I didn't know it had a zipper in the back when I ordered it. So it's going back to Timu. It's not practical. Unless you can zip it yourself, which I can't even reach the zipper. The zipper starts way up here. And I have a shoulder injury from years ago that will not allow me to even reach. I can't even do that anymore with this arm. So, <laughs> going back. Yeah. So the next item, let's see what this is. Oh, and the cleavage problem, not even a problem. If it was zipped, it wouldn't even be a problem like the other one was. At least I remember to put my microphone on this outfit. Okay. This, okay, I remember ordering this, is another, like an overalls romper. So I'm just going to put the gobble shirt on and we'll throw this on. I'll be right back. This is cute. Somewhat comfortable with five chubby thighs. It feels like it's riding up. Um, doesn't have any pockets. But it was easy to get on. It's comfortable enough. We should have pockets. But I could always do this if my hands get cold. And just look really weird. <laughs> but um, I have to look in the daylight to see how weird my mid section looks because it on um, what I'm looking at on the camera monitor is this looks a little pulled and I tried my best not to have my t-shirt all bun you know, bunched it's as flat as I could get it but I mean overall I don't think this looks too bad I definitely couldn't go a size bigger definitely could not go a size smaller um I don't know I'm on the fence I just don't like the way this section looks and that's this has been the hardest part for me to lose weight has been what I call my inner tube. You know, because you put the inner tube on when you're in the pool and you float around. Yeah. So we'll see. And I paid nine ninety eight for these little overalls. Okay, what's next? Well, I'll grab a little box, do something that doesn't require a wardrobe change. Oh, yes, I remember ordering this. I just thought it was cute. Let's see what I paid for it. Okay, I paid eleven forty nine and I did get a few dollars a couple of dollars maybe refunded to me. It is a glass ball tumbler with a bamboo lid and a stainless straw. Isn't that cute? I don't plan on taking this on my cruise, but I just thought it'd be cute for me to have them at my desk at work. Okay, this is a snuffle ball for Juneberry, and it costs $5.48. And the object of a snuffle ball, you see these little pockets throughout the whole ball, you can put inside the pocket a little piece of kibble. You just fill them with kibble throughout the whole ball and then you give it to the puppies and they have to sniff out all the kibble and it keeps them occupied. And someone like Juneberry, who has doggy ADHD, can be occupied for a long time with this. She may tear this thing apart, um, being that it's fabric and stitching. She can be really rough with her toys, but I think we're going to give this a try. And if it falls apart, I have 90 days to return it. All right, this is something that I've been waiting for. Yay. Okay, I paid $3.97 for this necklace. And I just thought it would be something pretty. I've got a lot of long Kendra Scott necklaces and things like that. But look how pretty this is. It comes, you can get it with a heart, a peace symbol different symbols, but I just got the regular circle. But look how pretty that is. It's 
Got a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of the matte stone and the wood. And I can wear it with some of my dresses or some of my sweaters. Um, I thought it would just be really nice. And for less than four bucks, why not? Okay, next. Oh, this is for Juneberry. Now, Timu's dog's clothes sizing is odd. You really have to check the fine print, check the measurements. And this one, I'm nervous, might not fit her. But the measurements seemed okay for the bigger dogs. But we're going to see. It's doggy uh, onesie pajamas. And this might fit her. It said, you know, her neck size seemed okay for this. And this looks like it might fit her. But look at this little onesie pajamas for her. Isn't that cute? We'll try them on her and I'll insert a picture later. She's got to stay in her kennel right now because she can't stop barking. Okay, I also got this for Juneberry. And this is another one where the sizing was weird. And... Don't think this is going to fit her, but the neck looks like it would fit her. I don't know about the body, but it's a little t-shirt that says Mommy's Girl. We'll try it on her and see how it fits. I got some Royal Caribbean size luggage tags. I hauled these in a previous video over the summer for one of my cruise hauls. And now I can't find them. I don't know where I put them, so I ordered some more. They're only about a dollar fifty. Um, the stuff I got for Juneberry, I'll see those. Like I said, they were a dollar fifty nine for the cruise tags. The Mommy's Girl shirt was three sixty six, and the onesie pajamas were eleven sixty nine. Now I did purchase something. Before I pull it out, I'm going to tell you about it get to that page it's called five piece random durable tough dog toy puppy pet toy for small or medium dog so I got the I guess for medium large dog so you get random toys And this is what they are. She loves stuff like this, but she also destroys stuff like this. So I can just put these in her. Sorry about the ASMR. I'm trying to find the opening. I can just put these in her dog toy basket and she will go to town. She loves tug ropes and tug balls. Get this out of here. And, of course, something like this is more for a small dog, but she'll have fun with this anyhow. Um, this She'll have a blast with all of these. Yeah, so I'm just going to put those. I mean, this cost $4.98, and, I mean, I could have gotten stuff like this at the Dollar Tree, probably better. So I think this was a little overpriced. Um But I think she'll get enjoyment out of them, so if that's the case, um, so be it. And of course, as they unravel things, you have to trim them so that they don't choke or swallow the strings. Watch your dog's toys. And this is another toy I got for her I thought was going to be bigger. So I'm a little disappointed, Timu. I did look at the measurements, but it is cute and it's got the rope that she likes. She'll probably tear this up in a couple of days, but she's going to love it before she does. Um, I did get it at a discount through one of their coupons. Let's see what I paid for it. A dollar sixty-four. Its regular price is three sixty-nine. And so, because I did get one for a dollar sixty-four, I ordered a second one for three sixty-nine because I knew she'd love it. And they do random ones. They're either going to send you a cow, the giraffe, or a donkey. And I got two giraffes. So, how random is that? So yeah, we'll put those in her play her little dog toy bin. She'll love those. And I think that's it for Juneberry because I've just got one romper left. We'll see how this one does. But if it's got a zipper in the back, I'm not even going to bother trying it on because it's just going to go back. Nope, it doesn't have a zipper in the back. It's low cleavage for the front and the back, which probably means my bra is going to show. 
and then that means it's going to go back. I'm going to try it on. I'll be a good sport, but I think this one's going to end up going back just because it won't fit me right. Girls with big boobs understand my problem. Our bras are built like fortresses. Okay, I'm going to try this on. Okay, this one has pockets. And it doesn't show my bra in the front or the back. It's, a, again, a little high in the waist. Don't know what that's all about. Um, it doesn't feel like it's going to ride up in my thighs. But um, I think the problem here is me, not the outfit. So, but I think I'm going to keep this one and wear it on my cruise. I mean, I have to be confident with my body. Love every flaw, right? And I feel confident in this outfit, even though I'm not perfect. Me and my curves, they go with me everywhere I go. So, yeah, I think I love this one. I should have ordered it in more colors. Yay! You know? And I have some yellow sandals. I have to go see if they're the same color yellow. If they are, they're going to look great with this, and I'll look very put together. I mean, like I said, my thighs are a little cottage cheesy, but they're not terrible. Yeah. I think I like this. I, I wish the waist came down a little bit more, but I'm pulling as much as I can, and this is just how this fits. But I like it. And I love yellow, so, and it's got pockets. It's got pockets. Yay. So excited. Nothing else to try on. Nope, no jewelry in the bag. Um, I'm going to see if I can find some better foundation garments that hold me in a little better. Um, yeah, but or I could just stand in hands in my pockets the whole time. But overall, this is a winner. Oh, what did I pay for it? Yes. $9.99. $9.99. For real? No way. So, and Juneberry's dying to get out of that box if you can't hear it, which I'm sure you can. And I'm going to try on her clothes and take some pictures for you. I hope you enjoyed this little clothing haul. I enjoy doing it for you. Sorry, you can't see my face so well. But until the next time we see each other again, don't forget that I love you more than gumbo. Bye.